All right, so I'm doing something brand spanking new today. <laughs> and you might not be able to tell, but I'm recording everything separately. It's all new to me and a little, little freaky. So instead of spending more time getting Parkitect all set up, okay, back up, back up. I reset up my computer. I put in a brand new hard drive the other day and I've been trying to build everything up from scratch to be where I was before, but there are a few things that I missed out, so no Parkitect. So I thought I might as well play Doris and the Dragon, um, which is a pixel art game, and it seems really cute. I got it kind of a while ago, and I wanted to try it out because it looked cute and obviously good reviews. So I'm going to go into this without explaining the plot or anything, because this might possibly be a one-shot, unless I really, really like it. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully I get this video out, because I'm a little scared of the recording. Oh lord. Okay. So let's just play this game. So I have something to post. Select new game. Oh, how cute. So Doris is an old lady. This, yeah, I... We know that. There's Doris. That was a bit of a close shave. Where am I? This doesn't look like home at all. I could have easily fallen over this cliff. Has no one thought of putting a railing in here? I suppose not. Then again, this doesn't look like the safest place on Earth. Ah well, I'd best see what this is all about. That's some of the cutest dialogue ever, okay. I kind of want to figure out getting the voices a little bit louder. So, oh, perfect. I can just... Literally raise speech up here. Sounds good. Okay, here we go. And there's a stone tablet. What's that mean? All right, I'm just restarting real quick because I really fucked that up. <laughs> I was wondering why there was no voice. Okay. All right, so here we are. That now that there's actually good. noise. Just her voice is perfect. I love There's it. Something caught behind here. A pretty flower. How nice. I'll have that. All right, let's continue on our way. Oh, a puddle. I don't have anywhere to put it. True. But this puddle smells like alcohol. <laughs> Strong alcohol. <laughs> okay. We don't need that. Yet, at least. Come on, Doris. You got this shit. Come here, little flower. Alright, so we got that flower. And continue on here. These flowers seem to only grow in hard to reach areas. Alright. Who goes there? What? what? Who so are you? This is the dragon. I asked you first. Well, I didn't hear you ask me, so you'll have to tell me who you are. But I've got a much more authoritative voice than you. And I can fly. Sounds like you're just a bit of a show-off to me. <laughs> who dares to disturb my eternal slumber and proceeds to... Don't you talk to me like that. I'll have you know that manners cost nothing and I will ask you use yours. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm just having the worst day. People keep coming through here waking me up. I mean, dragons need some shut eye too, you know. So I got some choices here. What's your name? Where am I? What do you do here? Um, where am I seems like the most. Exactly. Do you mean they didn't tell you? Tell me what? Oh, no, this is all wrong. You're supposed to have a seminar about this before you even get this far. Did they give you a leaflet? What leaflet? And who are they? You didn't even get a leaflet? <laughs> oh no, this is wrong. This is all wrong. Calm down. What's so important? <laughs> what is so what important is about this so leaflet? Important about this leaflet anyway. It's not the leaflet exactly. I mean, the leaflet explains why you're here, what you need to do, blah, blah, blah. But you haven't been to the help desk. And that means... That means you have to help you me. You haven't been counted. 
How are you even here? <laughs> How are you not just floating away in the breeze like the unbound soul that you are? I'm a soul? Oh, that's right. You don't know yet. <laughs> well, I can't be explaining this to you. I didn't sign up for this. It's not in my pay grade. You tell me now. <laughs> you are supposed to be an admin assistant here. You have to. How do you know what I have to do? You've only been here five minutes. You don't know anything. I could tell you that the sky was green and you believe me. The sky is purple. I can see it. Yes, well, perhaps the sky is indeed purple. God, right, fine, you're dead. You are dead. I'm dead. Oh, that's it. Oh, well, that went better than expected. <laughs> are you not surprised? Well, I knew it was coming eventually. <laughs> anyway, if I'm dead, why am I still here? And why do I have my shopping trolley? Where did that come from? It fell through that sparkly light just missing me. Which was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Do you people just go throwing? It fell through the void! <laughs> this is impossible! Absurd! Unheard of in millennia! You're really supposed to have a leaflet, you know. Forget about the leaflet. Why do I have my shopping trolley? And why are you so upset about it? Because you only get a leaflet. Anyone who dies and passes through this here limbo gets a leaflet about how and why they're here. Plus, of course, how they can get themselves successfully passed on through to the other side. Well, I don't feel like I've learned anything in the last five minutes. And to be honest, I don't really care about all that anyway. <laughs> all I want to know is, if I'm dead, where's my Albert? Aww. Yes, uh, yeah, I get this a lot. I assume Albert is a loved one? He was. Is my husband and I'd like to see him I'm sorry to tell you this Doris but there are many limbo like dimensions and people who knew each other in life are not always able to be reunited in death at any rate Bummer. may have moved on already who is in charge who is in charge then there's a checkpoint at the end of everyone's journey and there's a ferry that can take you there it's the base of operations in this dimension. You can try asking there, yeah, but I wouldn't get me hopes up. Then I suppose I'll just have to get on with it. You wouldn't have any advice for me, would you? Advice? Uh, no. You can have this though. It's something for your shopping trolley. It's a uh, transitional support device. I'm supposed to give them to everyone, but I can't be running around after every lost soul in limbo. Just press it if you need me. And I'll try and help you out. Thanks, Norb. See you later. See you later, Doris. Okay, so it looks like my camera died, and this isn't going to work as well as I'd like. But I'm just gonna continue playing the game, so... Yeah, you don't really need to see my face, do you? These flowers seem to only grow in hard-to-reach areas. Why did I try that again? Hi, Norb. What do you need, Doris? <laughs> some friendly conversation. Sounds good. Are you sure you don't know anything about my husband, Norb? What was his name again? His name is Albert. Mm, no. No, I can't say I've seen an Albert recently. Sorry, Doris. But management isn't too far away from here. We'll ask there. So, what about this place? What about it? It's pretty new as worlds go. Not much in it yet, as you can see. It's been pretty boring till you showed up, to be honest. You haven't seen anyone else. This isn't the first world I've been to, Doris. I have met people before. <laughs> I just thought it might explain your temperament. Well, it's... <laughs> I mean, you haven't seen anyone else here? Mm, no. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, maybe there was. Uh, no, it's gone. <laughs> oh, okay then. I guess I'll... Oh, wait, wait! Now, now that I think about it, um, uh, No. Uh, Other than that demon thing that hates classical music. Okay. But he's a bit of a douche, to be honest. I mean, classical. Am I right? Alright, let's just continue Thanks on more. here. See you later. See you soon, Doris. 
Transitional support device. My transitional support device. I never leave my body without it. Okay. Is it just me? Or do those rocks look like people? True. They're too far away from here. Wow. That canyon is... Wow. That... Alright. It's only me. Oh, what? Okay, there we go. Sorry to disturb you, sir. What is it is this? this time, Lucky? The old woman has arrived in the divide. Oh. Excellent. Has work order 576972 been put into action as instructed? Yes, sir. Everything went off without fault. Although there was one small failure. What? I only sent the best souls for the job. You can't tell me there was any sort of miscalculation. I'm afraid so, sir. <laughs> the old woman, she... Uh, Has her trolley? Hmm? <laughs> 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 Is Good one. Dragons, what a joke. The administration team wouldn't know their asses from their elbows. I don't think dragons have elbows, sir. <laughs> Get out, Greg. Very good, sir. All right. Some interesting dialogue. I wonder how these rocks became this way. She thinks a lot. I like it. Excuse me. <sighs> no. No. No, not that one. Stop! Okay. <laughs> Why are you making me listen to this? Oh my gosh. He's talking so long. Whatever. I think right. he's having a nightmare. So yeah, sounds like it. Sounds like it. Let's. He's fast asleep. Doesn't look mean, really. He doesn't look so mean, really. For a demon. Okay. I mean, how did you assume that he was dead, like, sleeping? The flower isn't all that functional. No, it isn't. Um. Guessing I have to go back. Let's see here. My boring, useless script. <laughs> Alright. So, maybe I can throw this rock at him? Sounds like I know. Why don't I just throw rocks at all my problems? That's what I do, Doris. That's what I do. Are you saying that I'm doing it wrong? Ah, what do I do? Hi, Norm. What do you need, Doris? Tell me what to do. Thanks, Norm. See you soon, Doris. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't have anything to hold the alcohol with yet. Oh! Did I grab those? I'm too high, and I'm too old. Okay. Okay, Doris. I get it. I might need my glasses for this. No, I can see it. It says, click to examine things. I wonder what that means. Uh, okay. Um... A sparkly beam of light. Personally, my favorite kind. Okay. <laughs> Something tells me I can't go back through. True. I don't want to risk a nasty smack on the head from falling debris. I do. Gosh, why am I already stuck? This is silly. What do I do? Are there, like, more places I can go that I'm, like, not even... They're too far away from here. Oh lord, okay. What am I missing? Hi, Norb. What do you need, Doris? Okay, maybe I just need to have like a good long conversation. What exactly do they do? Oh, you know, all kinds of things, really. They make decisions about your world, my world. More decisions than you can fit into your brain in ten lives. That's why I don't. I sleep. 
So okay. what? They're like God. Kind of, I guess. Depends what you mean by God. They're entities like you and I at the end of the day. They just have a different means of achieving their goals. You could call them universal cultivators, if anything. They create, maintain, and influence worlds based on their needs at the time. So, we are like a crop to them. Don't take it too personally. Your existence itself is a result of their creating your universe in the first place. And look around you. It's not so bad. Think of yourself as it's a getting pretty deep. In the computer, but far more complicated and tricky to influence. I'm not very good with computers. <laughs> yes. The analogy is lost, and there's no hope for you. All right. That's some friendly company. Um. So where do you come from? Ah, <laughs> not here. That's for sure. No, uh, this is just a day job. A long, and yes, before you ask, there are dragons there, and yes, they're awesome. Okay. I wasn't going to ask. Yeah, right. And the sky's not green. I think you might be colorblind. <laughs> okay, this is getting me nowhere. See you later. I think I've asked all these questions. What do I do? Ah! I just want to throw a rock at him. Why not? No, I need your assistance. Okay. What do you want now? There's a big white demon thing <laughs> in my way. He's sleeping and he won't wake up. Yeah, I see him. What do you want me to do about it? Push him off the cliff? Yes. <laughs> okay. But I warn you, demons don't like being woken up. Oh. oh, I got a bottle. I don't think he has much use for this anymore. I'll take it with me. You know, in case I see him again. But not a kleptomaniac. <laughs> yes, you are. Alright, let's go back and grab that that alcohol that was on the ground. I don't know how we'd pick it up, but it's gonna happen. Ah, uh, right here. Oh, he's down here though. I can't use these things together. Okay. It's the demon I got North to push off the cliff. He doesn't look very happy. Hello there, Mr. Demon. Are we gonna fight? <laughs> you! you were there when I fell! What's the big idea? Pushing a man off a cliff when he's trying, you should be ashamed, old lady. You had parked yourself in the way. How else was I supposed to get through? I was minding my own business. So I had a little drink beforehand. Doesn't mean I need to take the plunge into the even greater beyond. Now, leave me alone while I plan my vengeance. I can't use these things together. A flower isn't all that fun. It is when you're trying to flatter someone, Doris. Don't you get a it? Flower isn't all. Yes, it is. I know. Why don't I just throw rocks at all my problems? Yes. Why don't you get this? Kick his butt, Norb. Kick his butt. Uh, no way. She's so sassy. Sleeping demons are one thing. I'm not messing with a conscious one. <laughs> Sort it out yourself. Helpful as ever. Okay, I don't know what else I have. I can't use these things to... How do I pick up this alcohol? Now that I have this bottle, this puddle doesn't seem so out of place anymore. Finally. Okay. The plan is complete. I tried you before! With this bottle of white spirit, I can... Actually, this doesn't help me much at all. But regardless of that... <laughs> this is an adventure game after all. I'll probably need it. Yep, especially for this guy who said he was just I drinking. Can't use these things together. Oh, I, I thought I can't use these things. Fine. Together. Okay. What do I need fire for? So no, it just says bottle of flammable liquid. So I'm assuming you want me to light something on fire. Just continue this way. Oh, what's this? There's a rope attached to a pulley on the cliff face. True. 
It's quite far down, but I think I can reach it. Oof! This is awkward. It has a basket on it. I could sew a nice lining into that. <laughs> Just a thought. Okay. Another item. Maybe I can use that to get to the flowers. Great. I'll lower the basket down under the flower in case it falls. Uh <laughs> I know. Why don't I just- Yes, Doris! Ah. That looks a bit precarious. You won't get me climbing down there in a hurry. These flowers seem to only grow in hard-to-reach areas. Ah. Oh, I want to drag it. I feel like I'm on the right track. But there are some steps I need to complete first. Like what? I... I'll just pour this all over here. Um. Careful not to get any on the flower, and we should be good to go. I just need some way to burn this alcohol now. That makes no sense to me. No, come in. I repeat, no, come in. <laughs> She's just so damn cute. Hands. I know, but it's fun. What do you need? You can breathe fire, correct? Well, yeah, but it's not the most pleasant of experiences for anyone involved, especially the Bernie, which um, would be you in these circumstances. All these vines down here? Vines? Vines? Well, that's no fun. They're not even moving. <laughs> Please, it's for a good cause. Oh, okay, okay, I'll do it. Just know... The breathing fire for me, it's a lot like vomiting for you. Aww. You know, it burns, and sometimes it comes out of your nose a bit. <laughs> Just do it, Norb. And you can smell the last thing you ate. Norb! Stand by for the grilling! Doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, the flower is in the basket. Now all I that makes no sense. pull it up. Alright, well I got my flower though. Why didn't the flowers get burned is an achievement that I just received. Wow. Okay. So that looks like all the time that I have to play this game today. Comment below if you think I should maybe play another, uh, play some more of this, get another video for it. I might actually. I really like the dialogue. Super cute. But yeah, like, comment, possibly subscribe. Thank you so much and have a great night.